Welcome back, Amber. Good to see you. Good to see you. How have you been? What brings you in today? Um, well, I've been feeling some like tingles kind of in my stomach. Tingles in your stomach. Okay, and when did these tingles begin, Amber? Um, maybe like two or three weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago. Okay. How would you describe the sensation? Um, kind of like pins and needle-ish. Pins and needles, okay. But not like really sharp. More of a dull sensation mm -hmm. in the background. Is it all the time that you feel it or does it come and go? Um, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. Do you feel any pain during that time? Not really. It's more numbing, if anything. Okay, so numbing, dull sensation. Mm -hmm. And is it mostly localized on your abdomen or does it radiate anywhere um, else in your It mind? kind of radiates up and okay. sometimes a little to my legs. Okay. Is your scalp affected in any way? Um, sometimes a little bit, but not really. Okay. How about your face? My face is usually fine. Mm. Okay. And your neck? Um, my neck's good as well. So it's the chest and sometimes the scalp. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing anything uh, new recently? Any new activity that you took up? Um, well, about three months ago I took up ballet, but lately um, I've been tripping a lot during class. Okay. Um, which is weird because, you know, I thought I'd get better at it, but I kind of have been getting worse a little bit. Okay. And the tripping... Um, did that start at the same time as the tingling sensations? Um, a little before. Okay. And when you have to walk normally, just if you're walking around your house, do you have any difficulty with that? Um, not really, but sometimes I do trip. Mm, okay, so difficulty walking. Mm -hmm. And how about your coordination? Um, it's pretty good, except sometimes in my hands. Um, I'll drop things, like if I'm writing, I'll drop the pencil, or if I'm on my phone, sometimes I drop my phone, haven't broken yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your finger mobility is also impacted. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the tingling sensations in your fingers? Um, a little bit, but it more feels like I'm wearing fuzzy gloves. It feels like you're wearing fuzzy mm -hmm. gloves. Do you feel that sensation right now? No. Okay. And you mentioned dropping your phone. How often does that happen? Maybe twice or three times a week. Okay, well, do you have a case for the phone? Yeah, luckily. Okay, good. That's interesting that the finger mobility and the feet mobility is impacted. Have you taken any new medication recently? Anything over the counter, like vitamins? Mm. No, I have not. So no new medication. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed any other senses being impacted that, other than the sense of touch? Um, sometimes my ears feel a little off. Okay. Like when I get tingles, sometimes my ears ring a little bit. Ringing in the ears. Mm -hmm. How about your sense of smell? Are you smelling? Um, I think so. Okay. Have you noticed any excess sweating, especially at night? You wake up um, being... Sometimes I wake up a little sweaty, which is kind of weird. Okay. Is that usual for you or is that a new symptom that um, you're experiencing? It's not usual, no. Excessive sweating too. Have you had any injuries or surgeries? Anything physically wrong with you? Um, well, because of dance, I had an ingrown toenail, so I did have to get that taken out at the foot doctor. Um, so there's a bandage on my toe, but it's all right. Okay. And when did that happen? Um, that happened about four weeks ago. 
four weeks ago and the symptoms started to the three weeks ago mm -hmm. so it's definitely after you had yes. the foot injury okay right. were you prescribed any medication for that um i was told to take over-the-counter pain medication so i took a little bit of that okay are you still on that now or? no Okay, so the impaired mobility of your fingers mm -hmm. and the lack of coordination in your legs, the um, tingling sensation in your feet, mm -hmm. what you mentioned uh, with your abdomen makes me think of peripheral neuropathy, mm -hmm. which is a um, condition where the peripheral nerves, so the nerves outside of your brain and mm -hmm. your spine, the outside nerves are impacted by something could be um, vitamin sometimes if you're taking too much of that mm -hmm. uh, could be an autoimmune disorder um, mm -hmm. could be hypertension were you ever diagnosed with that no okay so no history of hypertension how about anybody in your family um maybe my great aunt but i'm not sure Okay, so possible. Alright. All right, so what I'm going to do is perform a neurological assessment. Mm -hmm. um, focus on your abdomen and the dermatomes on your skin, on your chest, and on your face. I'm also going to do a scalp inspection and just do a head to toe assessment, mm -hmm. clinical assessment, including your feet and your legs and see if I can get to the bottom of what's triggering these sensations for you. I do suspect that we will need to draw some blood just mm -hmm. to confirm this diagnosis if it does turn out to be the case. So we may need to run some blood tests. Mm -hmm. um, but then go ahead and put on my gloves. Are you feel, feeling those tingling sensations right now? Um, I'd say a little bit, like in my stomach area. Okay. Do they radiate down your legs? Um, mm. A little bit. They go like, like it radiates the same amount up my chest and down my legs. Mm. Okay. So I'm just going to start by doing a visual inspection of your body first just make sure i'm not missing any external signs any redness any um dermatitis or any condition of the skin that may be contributing to this so you can just go ahead and relax and i'm just going to look at the skin first I do see a little bit of redness and the skin reacts to my touch. There's a little bit of inflammation going on. Your neck looks okay. Let's check out the arms too. Have you noticed any excessive sweating at night? Do you wake up feeling really, really sweaty? Um, just a little bit. Okay. Is it more than you would say yes. the normal amount mm -hmm. is for you? Okay. 
So a little bit of a redness on your chest area, but other than that, your skin looks quite normal. I'm gonna take a look at your face as well. Okay, go ahead and open your mouth slightly. I'm just going to tap really lightly to see if I can trigger any of those sensations on your face. Any pain? I'm going to tap on the bony prominences of your upper body as well. Let me know if you feel any sharp shooting pains or any um, intensification of those sensations. Okay. Good reflexes as well. All right. I'm going to go ahead and palpate your head and your neck and I'll be looking for any indentations, any lumps, any bumps, anything that could be a physiological sign of something going on underneath the skin. Okay, so I'll start with your head first. looking for any hidden masses and checking the symmetry. Okay, pressing down on the mastered bone process behind the ear. Any pain there? Checking your lymph node. Okay, let's move your head towards your left. Checking the cervical lymph node and the occipital behind here and towards your other side. auricular lymph node and posterior auricular occipital superficial cervical deep cervical tonsillar Submandibular lymph node, submental, and supraclavicular. Okay. So 
So no enlargement of the lymph nodes is noted. Okay, I'm going to check the inside of your arm. the pectoral lymph nodes. Okay, not enlarged. Very good. And over on this side. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Checking the Auxiliary lymph node. Okay, good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your heart and lungs. Have you noticed any shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, heart pumping out of your chest? Not really, no. And then just breathe normally. I'm looking for any murmurs. I'm able to hear the expected as one and as two sound and no extra sound. Okay, I'm going to check with the bell side as well. Okay, heart sounds normal. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. I'm going to focus on the lungs next. And out, good. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, you can just breathe normally now. No hissing sounds, no wheezing. No signs of any adventitious sounds. Very well, so heart and lungs are okay. I'm going to check your pupil response next. If you can look into the distance. I'm going to just check for pupil dilation and contraction. Very good. And now look at my nose right here. I'm going to check the concentral response. Good, perfect. So that looks quite normal. And in normal light conditions, your pupil are round. They have the normal size and shape. The skin looks... Um, to have the expected color appropriate to your ethnicity. I'm not seeing any obvious signs of anything physiologically being wrong with you. I'm going to go ahead and focus on your um, ears next. Have you noticed anything abnormal, any sudden sounds or unexplained sounds? Um, sometimes when I get the tingles in my chest, okay. I get a little ringing in my ears. All right. So let's go ahead and check your ears. And how loud is that ringing? Um, I'd say it's quiet. It's quiet, okay. But enough that I can hear it. So let's go ahead and see if you have any emerging ear infection. If you can look over to your left side. I'm just going to take a look at my otoscope. The oracle of the ear looks normal, no external discharge. Tympanic membrane is pearly gray, well-defined margins. I'm able to see all the bony landmarks. 
no signs of cerebral fluid build up in the back of the ear and you have the cleanest ears i have ever seen thank you okay so that ear looks okay i'm gonna go ahead and look at this one too okay no external discharge do you feel any pain when i pull up on here no okay let's take a look No signs of any infection and tympanic membrane is pearly gray well-defined margins no wax build up Good. so from a physiological point of view your ears are okay hmm. right. let's go ahead and also test your hearing so keep your eyes closed and I'm going to make a sound and I want you to point towards the sound. and look inside your ear for any sign of infection <clears throat> sorry next up i'm gonna check your mouth for any mm -hmm. signs of infection or anything emerging in the back of your throat if you can open up your mouth for me please okay I see the uvula. Good taste, good. That looks quite normal. Have you noticed anything abnormal with your sense of taste? Um, any mixing of the tastes? No. Okay. I'm gonna focus on your nose next. Any problem smelling? Mm, only when I have the ringing in my ears. Okay, so your sense of smell is impacted then. Mm, just a little bit though. So let me go ahead and start by palpating the nose first to see if I can spot anything on the outside and then we'll do a smell test. Okay. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Okay, I'm pressing down on your sinuses. Any pain there? No. Any pain there? No. Any pain there? No. Okay, so sinuses are not inflamed. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Okay. And take another deep breath in through your nose. Nostrils are not obstructed. I'm gonna go ahead and give you something to smell. Can you tell me what this smells like? Um, it smells like, like flowers. Flowers, okay. Yeah, that's it. It's a flowery smell. And now I'm going to give you another smell. And I'd like you to close up one of your nostrils. Mm -hmm. Left or right, whichever one you want. Okay, let's see if we can identify this smell. A little like toothpaste. Toothpaste? Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be lemon. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note of that.
Next up, I'm going to go ahead and check the dermatomes on your mm -hmm. chest and on your face. And the dermatomes are areas of the skin that are innervated by the same spinal nerves that are coming from your spine. Um, so if any damage happens, I'll be able to uh, detect it through the series of tests I'll be doing. Right. So we're going to start off with the test that's called mm -hmm. sharp or dull. May I have your palm? Okay, can you feel this? Yes. That's sharp. Mm -hmm. And can you feel this? Yes. That's dull. Okay, go ahead and keep your eyes closed. To say sharp or dull. And I'll start with your forehead. Sharp. Okay, good. Dull. Good. Sharp. Focusing on V2 now. Dull. Okay, good. Okay, so V2 and V1, which, has, which are the primary and secondary areas of your skin on your face, are clear. I'm going to check out V3. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Okay, very well. So no neuro damage was um, noticed. Next up, I'm going to test your sensitivity to hot and cold, which is another way by which we can determine if any nerve damage is present. So I have here a slightly warm object and a very cold one. So keep your eyes closed and say hot or cold. Warm. Cold. Warm. Warm. Cold. Okay. So you mixed hot and cold a couple of times. Mm -hmm gonna make another note of this so we have the sense of smell that mm -hmm. is affected and also the sense of touch not too sharp or dull but cold or hot sensations are mixed up okay let's go ahead and lay down and I'll focus on your tummy first and mm -hmm. let's see if we can uh, understand what's going on with the skin there. I'm checking your scalp for any abnormalities, folliculitis, psoriasis, anything that may contribute to those tingling sensations.
the scalp and the hair are healthy, no breakages, no patches of lost hair, no signs of any alopecia, no ringworm, and you don't have any dandruff either. Facing up, just going to touch your face and palpate. Okay. No pain is indicated and no abnormal reactions to the touch. Okay, I'm gonna Focus on the abdomen next. Okay, I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it okay if I lift up your top a little bit and lower your pants to expose your abdomen? Yes. To start with the visual inspection of the skin, the belly button, okay. I see a little bit of um, bruise here. Are you aware of it? Yes. Looks like it's healing, it has a little bit of a scab. That's all right. Okay, I'm not noting any blue or purple colors. No obvious swelling of the internal organs. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the abdomen. Checking activity in all four quadrants. Not hearing any swooshing or gurgling. Sounds are heard. I'm gonna go ahead and do a light palpation. Check for any hidden masses. The spleen is not enlarged. The abdomen, the stomach has the normal size. Going to press down on your kidneys. Okay, good. And the liver, the tip of the liver is barely palpable. I'm going to go ahead and do percussion and check the resonance. Good. That's a good level of dullness. to do the same sharp or dull test. Do 
you feel this? Yes. Okay, was that sharper though? No. Okay, how about this? Sharp. Okay. Okay. Okay, sensitivity to sharpen dough is as expected. Let's try hot and cold. Cold. Okay. Hot. Cold. Cold. So a little bit of mixing of the hot and cold sensations again. I'm continuing to suspect peripheral neuropathy. Right, let's go ahead and check out your legs and your feet as well. Okay, is it okay if I remove your socks, Amber? Yes. see the bandage though here and can I also lift up the sleeves of your pants yes okay, I'm gonna do a visual inspection first A little bit of callus build up, but that's quite normal. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Good, so you have good toe mobility. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate your calves and the plantar region of your legs. no signs of any edema. I do feel your legs warm and your feet quite cold. Is that normal for you? Yes. Okay. So not a very good circulation to the outer extremities. All right. Let's focus on neurologically testing your left foot can you curl your toes around my finger good and can you move just your big toe good all right and let's do the same with the other leg can you curl your toes around my finger and now just lift move your big toe perfect okay i'm going to do the babinski test so just let your leg loose into my arm Negative Babinski. Let your leg loose. Good. Negative Babinski. Okay. Do you feel that? Yes. And that? Yes. Okay. Any pain there? No. Do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. Okay. Do you feel that? Yes. That? Yes. Okay. Do you 
feel that? Yes. Okay, just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Yes. Good. So sharp sensitivity is retained. And do you feel that? Yes. And is the sharp or dull? Sharp. And how about this? Dull. Good. Sharp and dull sensitivity is retained. Okay. Going to inspect in between your toes. Going to check your pedal pulse to plus synchronized. Can you flex this leg all the way towards your head? Good. And down. And can you do the same with your left one? Good. And then down. Can you rotate this foot? Good. And now rotate your right foot. I'm going to attempt to spread your legs apart. Don't let me do that. Now I'm going to attempt to bring them together. Don't let me do that. Okay, good. And now push into my palms with your heels. Good. Okay. So legs and feet exam showed no positive findings from mm -hmm. a neurological point of view. You're all healthy. The abdomen also presented very well, um, except the mixing of the hot and cold sensations mm -hmm. again. But other than that, everything was okay. So I do suspect the onset of peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to prescribe that we do a set of tests. So I want you to get your blood drawn and mm -hmm. God, just write a quick note about that. We're going to do some blood tests and confirm the clinical diagnosis. Let's monitor these symptoms mm -hmm. and see how they progress over the next couple of months. And I'll see you again in about three months. And um, we'll also review the blood results in the meantime. And if it turns out that it is a positive diagnosis, then I want you to come in sooner so we can discuss the next steps. Okay. Do you have any questions for me, Amber? Um, I don't think so, no. Okay, good. Nice seeing you today, then. It's good to see you.